Hello there everybody, Sam's Trains here, welcome back to Train Simulator. Now, I've heard a rumour in my comment sections, right, and that is that regardless of the difficulty level over here on the right hand side on Train Simulator scenarios, all of the scenarios for Train Simulator are just super easy, anybody can try them and succeed, and they're not a challenge. Well, I thought, since I am basically awful at any Train Simulator scenario, if I keep trying some of these harder ones, uh, I did a hard one last time actually, I'm going to try another one today, can I prove or disprove whether that rumour is correct? So we've got one here that I've spotted called Milk and Cookies, it's difficulty 4 out of 5 and I just, oh, I just love the idea of this, a short goods trip around Carlisle in the early hours to collect milk tanks and cars biscuits. What are cars biscuits? We may never know. Anyway, it's in a black five. It's at two o'clock in the morning in spring. Sounds lovely. Let's do it. And if I succeed, then that would be good evidence that the rumour that all train simulator scenarios are easy uh, being true. So we'll find out. I'm going to do my best. I'm not going to deliberately mess it up or anything. Um, but generally speaking, my ability levels are quite low for this. I very often overshoot stations and mess things up. So we'll find out. Right, welcome to Carlisle Canal Shed. Before moving off, please set your route out of the depot to the first pickup point, Canal Goods, siding 1B. You must have permission from Canal Box to enter the yard. Go and collect the milk. You see, I don't know how to do that. So, please set your route out of the depot. I'm guessing that just means with the points then. See what I mean? <laughs> or is it this? Alright, okay. So we're coupling to 1, 2, and 3. So let's see if we can s center in on that. Okay, so here is 1, 2, and 3. So where am I? That's the big question. Does it show me where I am? Center player, that's what I need. Right, okay. So I am right here, by the looks of things. And does this blue line show me the way? Yes, right, so we need to make sure that this course is plotted correctly. I'm guessing that's what this means. <laughs> right. Yeah, this is looking good. I have absolutely zero idea whether this is the right thing to do or not. Right, so for a start, this line needs to be switched. All right, let's see if we can follow this. That needs to be switched. I didn't actually realise you could change points like this on the map, so that's pretty handy. Right, so this is good. Yeah, this is what we need. So we're on this line at the moment, but that needs to be changed, I think. No, 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 that's good. All right, so we're going to come out here, and we're going to go over there. Right, I think that should be set now. Is that correct? We can follow this. That should take us over here. Right, I think that is correct. Now, are we late? I have no clue whatsoever, but let's just verify the direction that we're traveling in. I don't think there's any other option. That's my safety valve. Hopefully that isn't too loud. I've turned the volume up today. I think maybe that is a bit too loud, but you never know. It might be okay. Let's just start and then the safety valve noise should go away. Hopefully. Right. Here we go. How's the sound? Is that too loud? I hope not. Right. I can't see anything in the cab. It's literally very, very dark. Uh, I don't think I found any way last time of actually releasing. Oh, sorry, turning on a cab light. I did not find any way of doing that, I don't think, last time. Maybe the, such a feature exists, I don't know. Let's see. We just want the lights, don't we? See, that's what I... I pressed these buttons last time and it didn't do anything, so... Yeah, I don't know. It doesn't matter too much. I've got my heads up display, which is alright. I'm just going to have to keep an eye out for signals. I think that's a common pitfall. Yeah, because I miss signals from time to time and that's obviously bad. Right, I've knocked the volume down a touch. Wow, look at this. This actually looks amazing in the dark. So we are in Scotland. 
uh, just in case you didn't know. Keep an eye on this reverser. And the limit is currently 15. I didn't actually look at our consists. Uh, oh, that's right, yeah, we haven't got one. That's why I didn't. Oh gosh, we're speeding already. I should have set some ground rules, shouldn't I, really, in terms of whether I'm allowed to get things wrong or not. I think a little bit of messing, a little bit of uh, error is allowed. <laughs> that's, what, that's what I've just decided. Right, okay, limit is now 30. So at the moment we're set for canal good siding 1B, which does seem to be correct, so I think we're okay. I think, I think we're okay. So, oof, oof, I mean, did you see that? It was jumping all over the place. Right, slow down please, Mr. Engine. Sooner the better. Uh-oh. Hang on, that changed down to 15 before I got there. That seems hardly fair. Oh, look, I can see the controls. Why? And we went under a... Oh, that's pretty cool. We went under a street light and everything suddenly illuminated. It's awesome. Right, are we speeding up or what? No, that's fine. Right, so we should be about to crash into our train. But well, hopefully not crash. That wouldn't be good. But hopefully we'll meet it soon. I guess if there are no wagons to pick up, then I know I've done it wrong and failed at the very first hurdle, but no, I think these might be them. Yeah, well they're not wrong, they, they, they do seem to be milk tankers. Did they say something about biscuits as well? That's the bit I was interested in. Milk's alright, but not without biscuits. Right, perhaps I should be slowing down now. Yeah, perhaps not too much. I think there's a good camera angle for this, isn't there, if I can find it in time. Yeah, that's a good angle. I've stopped too soon. <laughs> Come on, please. There we are, there we are, there we are. Whoa. Wow, what's it doing? Seven miles an hour. Oh, slow down. Blimey, that was terrifying. Take it easy, take it easy, engine. Take it easy. Okay, okay. Good Lord above. Right. And then we just need to couple. Good. Right, stop. Now go back to the canal goods head shunt. Right, so hopefully that means if I go reverse and give it a bit of regulator, whistle and release the brake, then we can check. Oh, how can we check? Just go very, very slowly and we'll jump back to the map. Uh, I think it said go back suggesting that we've already been wherever it is I need to go. Head shunt. Right, okay. So if I set that, that should take us where we need to go, right. And apparently I can click on this window or something and get a different view. Or can I press? There's a button somewhere I can push. Slow down, goodness sake. Um, is it that view? No, I don't think it's that view. Ah, it's these, obviously. Yeah, there we go. Come on, keep going. I'll tell you what, I'm not exactly in control, am I? I think with me, I, it takes me a little while to just adjust to the, the not just the loco, but also the consist. So if it's a smaller consist like this, which is just literally three wagons, I just need to remember that I don't really need to give it quite so much juice as I did when I had coaches or a big freight train. So I do think that makes a difference. Set this to running if possible. Self lap seems to do the trick. As long as it stays at 21 inches, I'm easy. Yeah, it, seem, it's, it seems like a very lively engine. Even if I cut the regulator, it carries on accelerating. Right. So there's the canal goods head shunt that we should be about to move into. Yeah, this looks good. Don't know what they want me to do here, but we will find out next. Are we in? No. <laughs> oh, no, 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 apparently that was fine. No, no, stop, 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 don't go. Yep, we're okay. <laughs> I, I would have said that was a little bit of a dodgy place to stop, but uh, according to the game, that's all fine. Right, just bide our time for a little bit. 
Right, set the point so that you can cross, and, sorry, you can access the car's siding. Okay, the cookies from the biscuit factory. Oh, this is awesome. Right, so we're there, and we need to couple up to, what? Yeah, that's right. Right, so this is where we need to go now. So that's this road, which is over there. I think everything else is set. Right. Nice. Right, engine man, let's go. So reverse or forwards. Little bit of juice on the accelerator. Accelerator. You'll have to forgive me. You know what I mean. Off we go. All right, I'm not going to speed this time. You have my word. I'm going to take it easy. Right. That should do. It frightens me how it keeps speeding up. Presumably that's sort of simulating the fact that there would still be steam in the in the system even after I've cut the regulator off. Oh, it's got loud again. Yeah, the safety valve is <laughs> it very much peaks the audio, doesn't it? So, is this a real factory? I mean, I'm guessing there must be a factory here. Is it a biscuit factory in real life? I will love I will literally google that after we finish this and find out because that would just be awesome realism. Surely they can't use the real brand names and stuff. Maybe they can, if they went and got permission, I suppose. Right. I love this. This early morning working is super nice. All the factories working, but there's no one around. I suppose it makes it a bit more realistic as well, because obviously during the day there would be people about. But uh, yeah, the game doesn't do that, and so early morning when there wouldn't really be anyone around really works for this game. Alright, come on, go for it. Let's do it at 15. Oh, look at this, we're, moving, we're going into like a proper factory and blimey, the biscuit wagons are right there. <laughs> Put the brakes on, quick! Oh man, so not only have I curdled the milk into butter, but I'm also going to smash the biscuits. Oh no, I'm not, okay. Oh, look at these biscuit wagons. These look nice. Right now, go easy. Right, get ready on the coupling. It's going to be here. Couple. <laughs> right. Apply. Now, exit the yard and go back to Canal Junction onto the Silith line. Don't know what that is. Make sure you run your train clear of the home signal at the start of the single line. Whatever that means. Right. So, I have to move off one. So I'm going there, right. So everything here should already be set. This is actually a good one to teach you about, you know, setting the right roads for your signals and that. Right, I think that is pretty much it. Yeah, that's where I need to stop, okay. So I think that's pretty good, isn't it? Yeah, we can't change those. Yeah, I think that's it. I think that's where, more or less where we started, isn't it? Right, let's go back to the cab, boom my head out. Reverse. Regulator, not accelerator. <laughs> should I should I be whistling at this early in the morning? Feels disrespectful, but safety first, right? Yes. Come on, what are we waiting for? Waiting for those brakes to come off. Right. Twenty one inches. Back to running. Right, here we go. I'm going to go for it now. Obviously, we've got quite a train. Uh, I don't. I didn't see exactly how many wagons. Oh, <laughs> he's up early. Look at him. There he is. Hello. Scratching his belly. Looks like he's having a stretch. Sorry, it is early. Two o'clock. Right. I don't even know. I think we're set. I think we're set to go in the right direction. <laughs> if not, we'll soon find out. Ah, oh, that's a good idea. Could open up the firebox to the light. Oh, it doesn't actually light up the controls very well. Never mind. Oh, crumbs. Speeding again. You know what? Who cares? We'll get to where we're going a bit faster. <laughs> he says putting the brakes on. Yeah, I'm all talk. Look at the sky. That's quite a nice looking sky right there. Come on. Still off up and down. Yeah, well, that's right. Oh, okay. So, I mean, I might do a lot of things wrong during this scenario, but 
we've not ever gone to the wrong place so far, and I thought we would. Ah, very pleasant. I wonder if it's going to, if I take too long about this, will dawn break and will it become morning? I think so. Time is ticking on. I've never actually known Train Simulator do that, because all the scenarios I do are just like half an hour long. <laughs> I suppose it would do that. All right, a bit more please. Yeah, it's very dark outside. Well, now that we've gone from the factory, it's very dark out here. Hopefully you can actually see what's going on. Right, we're getting close. Green signal, that's good. Ooh, straight through it. Rightio, sill off up and down. Then I suppose we'll be changing road again, will we? And going somewhere else. Maybe there's more to pick up. No, 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 we're just going on a journey after that and then uh, dropping off the rolling stock. Right, I can stop anywhere here. I've just got to clear the uh, signals, apparently. Does it mean this one? Well, we should be clearing that no matter what. Right, careful with the biscuits. If the biscuits are all broken when we arrive, they might refuse delivery. And we don't want that. This is all right, it's going okay. I mean, I've not killed anybody. These wagons will now have to be pushed round to Denton Home. Please check that the route is set correctly to Denton Home, siding three. Thank you for the tip, I will do that. Right, first of all then, oh, so we've got to go via that way. To Denton Home, oh god. Tell you what, this is complicated, isn't it? So Denton Home, siding three, does seem to be set properly. Although this isn't. Oh, no, 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 that's it. I was looking at this one here. That could have been very bad, couldn't it? Right, so that is now set. Purple, purple. Yeah, I think we're right. That's us, right? Yeah. <laughs> Let's see. Let's see what happens. Right. So we're pushing. Let's pop my head out again. I like that. Right, we're pushing. Uh, so, yeah, we're going forwards, aren't we? Right, release the... No, 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 release. I already released them. There we go. Right. Now, I don't know about all this. That was a lot of stuff that I checked very quickly and carelessly. I suppose I could check as we go. But we've got to go via Coldew Junction up. Goods. So if we see that come up on the heads up, then that's fine. If we don't, that's not good. I think that's good though, yeah. We're going to be on that purple line. Maybe the purple line shows you where you're going literally never done this before, so there's no telling. Oh, I know, it's 30 miles an hour. We're unobstructed. The signals are green. Let's just take it easy, see what happens. Hopefully this will be fine. There's Coldu Junction up goods. That's a good sign. Yep, yeah, that means we're going in the right direction. So here's a question. Signals going backwards. When you're pushing a train like we are, how would this work? Presumably the brake van man, it would be his job to spot these signals. I mean, not so much on a small train like this, but on a long one, you would definitely want the brake chap having to spot signals. So how would he communicate that to the driver? That's my first question. And second question is, how does that work in game? Am I just expected to move the camera around and look for signals, or is the brake man trying to communicate with me and I'm not hearing about it? I don't know. Um, but yeah, answers on a postcard, please, or indeed in the comments, as is the modern way. Right, so Denton Home Siding 3 is apparently very close by. That's not good. Apparently it's only 0.15 miles away. Where are we? Oh dear. Uh-oh. How was that? How did that happen? Go back. <laughs> oh dear. 
Right. Reverse. I can save it. I can save it. Honest, I can save it. Right. Take it slow. And I need to come back. <laughs> How did I manage that? Oh, that's so annoying. So we're going to come back along this line, the purple line. And we're going to need to swap into one of these. So if I stop here, we should pass another train in a siding. That's where we need to stop. Right. And it's somewhere over here that we need to stop. So whoever's waiting for the delivery just sort of uh, watched me sail past on the wrong road. Right. So it's behind these points I need to stop, I believe. Right. And then we'll, we'll stop and reassess. <laughs> the signalman will be tearing his hair out. Right, stop. So this point needs to be set to let me go over here. So let's see. I'll change it. Yeah, no, 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 wrong way, other way. Do I just click it? Yeah, I'll just click it, okay. Is there another lever to do the other bit? Oh, oh, oh. Right, so that's what I need to do. Now, why couldn't I do that in the map? That was weird. But it's this one, right? Yeah. That is right. So, slightly late as we are. Let's do this. That was the brake man's fault. Yes. Yeah, come on, let's go. We're late now. We need our biscuits. It's two. It's nearly half past two, and there are still no milk and cookies. What is it? Is this where Santa lives or something? It's a bit bizarre, isn't it? Don't want to get on the naughty list. Right. Right. Okay. Okay. We're good. I think we're going. I think we're going to the right place now. <laughs> oh! 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 Speeding. Come on. If Santa is watching, we've got to be careful here. Very, very careful. Because he sees you when you're speeding. I can't think of anything suitable to rhyme with that, but hopefully you knew where I was going with it. All right, running. And I'm about to be speeding again. Stop speeding. Why does it keep going after I turn off the regulator? That's annoying. Right, stop. Blimey. It's like going into a cave. Oh, I feel like I was very, very close to banging against the buffers there. Can we see just how close? Let's see if we can, let's delve into the dark shed and see. It's gonna be pitch black. Why didn't someone put the lights on, Santa? You can just about see, okay, no, there was plenty of space. But uh, yeah, a bit, bit dodgy not having any lights on in there. I, I complain massively at that. Right. Uncouple the wagons. The loco is now required for stock moves at Citadel Station. Run back out onto road one. All right. Well, I'm going to have to check because I don't trust that the points are set right. The signalman's obviously still in bed. So that's where we're stopping. We're stopping on a set of points, which is odd. Um, but I think, yeah, unless anything's changed, we should be okay for that. So, backing up, remove the brakes, whistle, Regulator. I'm just going to use the whistle as much as possible to be very, very inconsiderate at half past two in the morning. Right. I'm just glad there are no other trains on the line. Can you imagine? They'd be very, very, very cross at this point. Right. There you go, Santa. Enjoy. Enjoy your milk and cookies. I'm sorry if they're all smashed. I don't know how brakes work. <clears throat> anyway, stop. There we are. Yeah, that'll be fine. Hopefully. Not going to exceed my comfort levels there. Right, and then looking ahead, we've got to go to Churuk. Oh, blimey. All right, so... We're coming up to the end. I can see why this might be considered a higher difficulty scenario because it's not just drive like it has been in the past. I've actually had to make sure that the track is set properly. We need to use shunt neck two to change direction. 
before entering Citadel. What? Oh dear, that sounds complex. Right, so I'm guessing that's where... I'll tell you what, this is a handy thing. Right, so I know that it's going to be forwards. Let's go and have a look. Right, so that's where I'm going. I think the difficult thing is just seeing this, just this mess of lines, and trying to figure out the the best you know way to get there. I'm just picking the right direction. Right, so we're here. So actually, funnily enough, I think we're actually going to be going, taking the route that I, I did start to take in error. So we're going to be on this purple line. All right, so that takes us to the purple line, and we're going around there, I see. Okay. So purple, there's nothing to change around here, so that's fairly straightforward. Um, all right, so the only things to change are here. So where are we? So we're stopping on Trunt Neck 2, all right? So just make sure that's set right. Let's, let's get going, because I think we need to. And uh, we'll double check this on the way. Because it's a mile and a half away, so that's not so bad. You can go at 20 miles an hour. But the job's done. I mean, technically, no matter what happens now, I delivered the milk and I delivered the cookies. And we've got that uh, warning signal again. But we don't need to heed that, because I think the next one will be green. Well, it was last time I did this. Not that I should know that. Yeah. Well, I've spotted that there was a signal. Well, that's something, isn't it? So, the heads-up display is showing me that we are destined for the right location, which is good. It's a poncy way of saying we're going the right way, like. So, this is looking good. Yes, I can switch this off now. Don't need you. Yeah, I mean, in some ways this has been easy because I've not had to worry about steam because we're just making very, very short, slow trips. So I've not had to take notice of that at all. Although I have just uh, opened up the firebox and uh, put the injectors on so that we don't run out of water. But I think we're all good with that, really. Can go at 30 now. So we're just changing direction, apparently, and then we're going somewhere else. Don't know how far, but I'll see you when we get to Kurok Depot Shunt Neck 2. Okay, well, we're here at the neck without issue. No problems, no speeding, honest. Didn't just cut out loads of speeding. <laughs> no, honestly, no, there was no speeding. I was close, but I managed not to. Right, stop here then. Don't crack on the buffers. Right, and then we just get to find out where we're going next. Have a little peek. Ugh, all the way up there. Okay. Right, we're just going to go for it. We'll see what happens. So that should keep us straight. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, maybe that is right then. Right. So I think we are coming up now to the final destination Carlisle Siding A DN stop. Sounds like some sort of telegram, but it isn't. It's a place. I think it's it's still 0.2 miles away, so it might be alongside one of these platforms. Maybe this is going to go on a passenger train or something in the morning. Or there's a woman there who's waiting on the side of the platform. I don't know why. There doesn't seem to be much activity, but there are <laughs> the odd few people standing around. Go home. You don't need to be here this early. You'll you'll get a seat. Right. I think we've got red signals up ahead. Can't see because of the smoke. So presumably I'm going to have to stop before those, otherwise I'll get a big naughty slap on the wrist. Yeah, let's stop then. Stop. Stop. Go too fast. Don't cross the points, the signals. Oh, I think we're okay. Nearly, sort of, yes. Technically, I think we have stopped before the signal. <laughs> Look at that. Now that is some precision. It is precision. That's what I choose to call it. I don't call it negligence. I don't call it dumb luck. No. Oh, precision. Right, I think that's it. Are we done? Yeah, I mean, okay, that was a challenge. I felt that was tricky. 
Right, the station pilot will now use the logo to sort things out before morning services begin. Lovely. Well, glad I'm glad I could help. Bye. Ah, right. Targets complete 24 out of 24, 6 out of 6 destinations. Picked up. Well, I don't think that's true. I picked up some freight. Oh, okay. Rail vehicles, whatever. Here we go. Right. Signal passed at danger. Spad once. Again, didn't notice that. Speeding nine times. So there you go. That's the truth about that. Passenger freight and comfort level exceeded 0.005% of the time. That's not bad. Uh, I was the only passenger, and according to Santa, no biscuits were broken. That's okay. Improper horn used 12 times. That's not true. Is it? Can you really not use the horn? Well, it's a whistle to start with game. I think that's a, a, an error we can give to a train simulator there. Um, no, I, only, I think I only used it when we started off. 12 times? Don't know. Anyway, rail engines experienced. We saw a black 5. Oh, okay, no, that's, that's what I was driving. Okay, 6 miles. Wow. Okay, so, yeah, all right, fair enough. I think that is rumour proved false. That one was quite tricky. That being said, I mean, it wasn't absolutely disastrous and I didn't fail, so... Yeah, take from that what you will. But thank you for watching. I'll see you on the next one. If you enjoyed this, comment down below and I will do more. That was lovely, actually. Really enjoyed that one. All right, cheers, folks. See you soon.